All right, guys, I'm just gonna say it. You suck at fishing a Whopper Plopper. You know what, guys? He's right. Or was. Stay tuned, I think we get a good one. All right, guys, so over the last couple of years, I have thrown a Whopper Plopper on and off and haven't ever been super satisfied with it. Have I caught fish with it? Yeah, sure, but I never really understood why people raved about it so much. And so I wanna talk about some of the things that have changed my opinion on this lure as I try to set up recommended by Riverman TV. So stay tuned, we caught a bunch of fish. Hope you enjoy. All right guys, so one of the first things you're gonna see in this first cast is when I throw it out, I was guilty if I would throw the Whopper Plopper and then just start cranking. And yeah, you can get bit on that and maybe that's even a downside to this bait for new uh, fishermen or people trying it who just don't know. You can get bit, but I think you're leaving a lot of bites on the table if you're not adding variance to your cadence like was talked about in this video. So almost every single one of these uh, fish that I caught, I was giving some kind of variance, whether I was giving it a pop pop, you know, and some twitches, whether I was completely killing it. I think I'm even gonna roll in one piece of footage where I casted it out my hooks got fouled up on the line and I just started twitching it in like it was a frog or a spook or a popper and had a really big blow up. Anyways, don't be afraid to vary the retrieve of this lure. And when you get in that strike zone, just kill it. I think one of the things that the Whopper Popper gets pinned as is a bait to cover water. So people think, oh, I need to cast it out and cover water, but work it when it's in that strike zone. All right, so let's talk a little bit about my Whopper Popper setup. Um, I did this to pretty much try to mirror as closely as I could the setup that Riverman talks about in his video. So I'm filming this on a seven foot medium fast Daiwa Tatula. And again, I was making all the mistakes that he referenced in the video down below. Too slow of gear speed reel, throwing it on mono, you name it, I was doing it wrong. So seven foot medium fast. This Daiwa Tatula is a seven speed. Um, I've also changed the line, thrown this on 20 pound braid, where I was throwing it on like 14 pound mono before, I think. So um, one of the things that I've noticed the biggest difference is that when I go to set that hook, there's tension on the end. Whereas a lot of times when I was setting the hook, if I made a 40 yard cast on mono and set the hook, you know, all that stretch that's in mono that you don't get in braid. I wasn't feeling anything on the other hand or would just pull it right out. So you get a lot more power in the hook set and you get a lot more immediate and responsive hook set. And I feel like my hookup ratio and keeping fish pin have absolutely changed by fishing this setup. I had a fouled up hook and I was just jerking it like a frog. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. I think one of the things that I would leave you with just to add on to that video where I kind of mimic the setup is maybe three tips of my own. One, I've tried pretty much every Whopper Popper size. I think the one that I get the most consistent action that's just a good overall size for getting good hookup ratio is the 75 size. So this is specifically referencing the Wayne the C Whopper Popper. I don't really throw the Berkeley uh, option or the Guggen Revolver or anything I have, but I typically use the original Wayne the C Whopper Popper 75. That's the size that I like. I think I get the best action with it. That's the one I recommend. 
The other thing, and I mentioned this earlier, is if you throw out the whopper popper, sometimes you don't always get it popping on your retrieve. Whether your hooks get fouled in the braid, which is a downside to braid, whether you get some weeds in the propeller, don't be afraid to just twitch that blade, that blade in. If it's in the strike zone, you can still get hit. The third one is, I think one of the pros of the Whopper Popper is its ability to cover water, but again, don't just treat it like a bait you're gonna throw out and burn back. Feel free to work it and give it some action and just have fun with it. Almost every single one of the fish that I caught in this video, I was doing some kind of variance while I was reeling and I'd speed it up and then slow it down and kill it, giving it twitches, giving it on the pause. I'll try to crank the audio, um, but hopefully you were able to hear that from the video. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed that video. This is another one of my videos I'm doing where I'm trying different setups and recommendations for popular YouTubers, giving my thoughts. I really liked this one by Riverman TV. I don't know the guy, but he catches a lot of small out. So anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know down in the comments, hit that like, stay subscribed, so I'm gonna have more, and I'll see you on the next one.